Well, hello, doers. Welcome back to another episode. And today is my birthday episode. I'm so excited. I have a special guest. Um, this is such a dear, special guest to me. Um, my boyfriend, Derek. D-Rock for short. Say hello. Howdy. How's everybody doing? Talk a little louder. You want me to talk a little louder? Is that, is that a little better? I don't know. Can you, I, 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 can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. I can't hear you. Raise the volume. Mine? On mine. Okay, talk. Is that a little bit better? Oh, yeah, better. So much better. better. Okay. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to switch this camera to you a little because it's like kind of not getting you. <laughs> Hope not. You can kind of get me, but it's okay. The, s- the, the star is on you or the <laughs> camera's on you anyway. Fantastic. We actually have a, another special guest in the studio today. We have our producer, executive producer, who. Um, Hardly ever here is Carissa behind the mic. Say hello. 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 I know sh- it's a it's a great day. We have someone that's never here. Um, Janelle's not here, so Chris is going to take over for um, what we're doing today. So, first of all, Derek. Yes. I'm so excited you're here. I know you <laughs> don't like doing this, and I appreciate it because it, one, it is my birthday episode, and two, I'm happy. You're going to have to sit up more because the camera needs to see you. There you go. There you go. There. That's perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> um, so today we're going to do something simple. Nothing crazy. We're not going to ask you, you know, terrible questions or get into a deep conversation. We're just going to have fun and lighthearted. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Um, I <coughs> want. Oh, he's getting ready. He said. So I put on our Instagram and our Facebook page, you know, that my boyfriend of five years is coming on my podcast. Mm. Yes, five years. I know it's been insane. Five years. Has it been that long already? It has been that long, yes. Oh. It feels like forever, you know. Just a little bit. Just a little <laughs> 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 So we um, decided just to have a little Q&A, kind of get to know us, get to know you, and I'm excited. And this is the easiest thing to do for us, too. Well, let's get to it, then. All right, let's get to it. We have Chris in the background asking us questions. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. We see our subscribe count going up. We love to see it. We're going to see it. So, um... Happy birthday to me. It's Aquarius season. And oh, fun fact, Derek's birthday is also in February. 28th. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there it is. Yep, yep, and he's a Pisces, so do with that what Are you, you a will. Pisces too? No, I just said it's Aquarius oh, season. That's right, that's right, I just right. said it's Aquarius that's season. Right. But okay, Chris, so let's go ahead and get to it. I was in this position for a while with the thing with my Oh, mic. she was ready. I was ready. Y'all don't have this camera on her, but she was ready for this. Okay. So, I want to start this off with a quick introduction, Derek. Give me a five elevator pitch. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't okay, prepare so him for this. Give me a little bit about you because I don't think you got an introduction. Oh, I didn't. Derek. So, okay. tell me a little bit about yourself, Derek. Okay. I am a five foot eleven white male. Oh, um, my God. Like she said, Pisces as well. Um, I like long walks on the beach, um, sunset dinners. Mm hmm. And. We're just going to have a disclaimer real quick. We have Londo acting up a little bit, so please disregard Londo. He had to make a presence because Derek decided to come. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Well, we're going <laughs> to take, <laughs> <gonna> take a <laughs> five-minute five break. break real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, well, we're back. We had to take care of, you know, this is real life. Um, we don't hold anything back here at the Deuces Podcast. Yes. And, um... I blame Janelle. Yeah. She's not here to take care of her son. Yeah. Because she is a working mother. So yes. no shade to her. So five foot eleven long walks on the beach. Is that what would describe Derek Pineda? Yeah, yeah. Um and I enjoy breaking bad right now. Mm-hmm. Breaking bad. That's your good. current obsession, isn't it? Yes, it is. Are you enjoying you know this what, journey? Kara, you didn't even ask. What is that your current obsession? Oh, I guess week? that means you don't watch our or listen to our podcast because Janelle and I did say on episode one that we are no longer doing obsession <gasps> trick of the week. Really? Because we felt no one cared. I guess except you. Um so that kind of you shows your though? colors that you well, don't listen to our podcast. Well, you know what, though? I guess I did not listen to episode one, that <laughs> disclaimer, because I was actually, when I was on the, when I was actually watching the YouTube, I was realizing, like, they didn't do any, they didn't do any obsessions or anything. Yeah, we said we're going to change it up this year and see if, <sighs> I mean, if y'all want us to bring it back, we'll bring it back. I was, yeah. Okay. Well, let's not yep, do your so obsession. no Breaking Bad. Okay. Um, <laughs> bring it back. Yeah, I think that's really about it. Just, I enjoy media i guess video games whatnot nice um, a lot of twitch streaming 
Mm. So that's about it, really. Yeah, you're a simple very guy. Simple, very simple minded. Simple yeah. guy. We love a simple guy because I'm complete opposite. I'm a very yeah. extra kind of person. Mm-hmm. So it kind of works for us. Simple and extra. Yep. We love it. Bit. We love it. All right, Derek, thank you for that introduction. Kiara, you're also intermission in that introduction. So yeah. we're going to get started with some questions, D Rock. Um, feel free to at, for free to. Be honest. We're all honest here. No, Kara, okay. you know, this is Derek's episode. Please chime in, but keep the comments a little, <laughs> little, you know. <laughs> all right, Derek, let's My start podcast. off. Well, safe space. Let's start off with some easy questions here. Where did you guys meet? Um, we met at Best Buy. We worked together. We did. Yep. He was obsessed with me, mm. and he couldn't let go. Mm. Mm. It's okay. You can tell the truth. It's a safe space here. Tell the truth thought this was my episode. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one could uh it would say who really wears the pants in this relationship, Derek? I do, obviously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have all the passwords to all the bills and everything, so That doesn't make like you that doesn't make you have the pants. Um, that just makes it easy. Pretty sure I decide on what we do and when we do it. Mm. So that's not because you wear the pants. It's just because I'm an indecisive that person. This my episode. I just want to. I just wanted to make sure people understand. My episode. It's my birthday episode. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I just, you know, I just want to say it's because I'm a very indecisive person. So you do make the decisions because I'm indecisive. That's all. Okay. okay. Um. So. Thank you. Over y'all span of relationship of Best Buy, how did you guys make it official? Give me that backstory of what led to, <laughs> what made it official. <laughs> um well i broke up with my cro- girlfriend at that <laughs> time <laughs> mm-hmm. and i got with the year oh, right afterwards <laughs> mm-hmm. it's a fun it story official. to tell for those who were there understand um t- yeah we're gonna leave it at that because you know yeah we don't get into we details. don't need to get into details <laughs> <laughs> so i guess who made the first move who who initiated friends to more than friends I want to say I did. Yes, mm. he did. I I, I did. I'm going back to, like I said, he was obsessed with me. Mm. Pretty sure this is my episode. Mm-hmm. I just... But, um, okay, are we, are we giving backstories or are we just... We can do a little well, backstory. We're starting off I with more know. relationship questions and we can yeah. get into some more boy questions. So okay, you okay, okay. Backstory okay. into this. I was going to say more that I took mm-hmm. the lead pretty much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I made the first move. I took you out first and everything like that. So mm-hmm. You did. I say I did. What was our first date? Not the not the the first first first. Waterburger. Yes, it was. Took my question. <laughs> it was a Waterburger. It because there was a. It was like our first date, and then there was like the first second first date. Yeah. He knows what I'm talking about. But yes, it was Waterburger. Good job. Fun facts. Uh, same story with me, Bella. It was an unofficial Waterburger date. Pretty sure this is my episode. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. So Derek, uh, what was your first impression of Kara when you first saw her? Um, she liked the. Same music, I guess, as I did. That was my first impression. Yeah. So good music taste, I guess. Um, um, <laughs> very pretty. Very <laughs> pretty. Oh, so, thanks. Um, talks a lot. Mm. That's true. That's fine. Mm-hmm. I mean, people can talk. It's fine. It's fine. And Kara, what was your first impression of Derek? First, right off the bat. Um, that he was so nice. Still is. No, yeah. De- something about Derek is like the most nicest person I've ever met. Because mm-hmm. um, as much as I claim I'm nice, we've actually currently discussed this. I'm up. Uh, apparently, I'm not. As Zero empathy. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. I have no empathy. I don't. That still makes me a nice person. I feel. I just don't have a lot of empathy for. Love. Anyway, it's not. I my know. It's, it's not my subject. therapy session. No, but yeah, I, Derek episode. was like the nicest person ever. And again, we very bonded on music. Like I think it was like our whole shift was trying to find that one song. And that's kind of, was no, it was like, no, I laugh. You're funny. Our humor is so similar. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Derek, let's get into <laughs> some, some other questions moving on from, like, the first stage, right? Mm-hmm. So, love languages. Oh, yeah. What's, what's your love language and what's Kara's? What do you think about love languages? Mm. Well, first, I think my love language would have to be... I want to say it's a little bit of physical, but not really. I think it's more like a relationship just to have. Do you even know what the love languages are? 
I'm making my, my own love. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just saying, I was like, I don't remember that being one. It's like a mental kind of relationship where it's like, it's kind of a friendship, but you know, of course, a little bit more. I think but having that person always there. It's the Never. I don't know the word of it, but it's the it's one where act, you it's not active active affirmation. It's where you have to have some not someone, but be with somebody. Come come on, not companionship. Yeah, something like that. It's not the word companionship, but I yeah, I know what you're talking about. Do you know what mine is? I thought this was my episode. Well, guys, did ask what was my <laughs> love language. <laughs> um, touch. Yeah. Yeah. I love touching. So, what are the love languages? Uh, physical touch, gifts, act of affirmation. Gifts. Yeah, yeah gifts, like gifts, gift no, giving. Receiving gifts. Receiving gifts. Which Words I of affirmation. Um, I think physical it's touch. physical touch. Yeah. And then it's re- like receiving. Did I say that right? Receiving gifts. And then you give them too. So there's two. I don't know the words for them, but it's, I know those are four. Like giving. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like I loved. No, no, it's not my episode. Okay. So you don't know. Jesus <laughs> so cares was touch, no? Yeah. Yeah, I love to touch. Okay. Um, so in your five years in relationship, <laughs> let's get into some other questions, okay. right? <laughs> so five years in relationship, what keeps it going? What gets those sparks flying, Derek? Because you can get stagnant in relationships. Yeah, what keeps our relationship going? Tell me. I would love to know. I think that we're able to communicate very well. I think that's what gets our relationship to make it last long, I guess, or that has been up to five years is because we're able to communicate together and we never get bored with each other. No, we don't. Back to this. Um, yeah, our five-year relationship, I feel like you said is what you said was right. Mm-hmm. Communication, we're never bored with each other. And I think laughter is a big one of ours because we're always laughing. Like, it doesn't feel like five years. It feels like like shorter than that. I don't know how that makes Like It makes sense like we've been together for long, but it doesn't feel like it's been five years. It went by fast. Feels like five years. <laughs> is there something you want to say? <laughs> is like, I mean, this is a safe space, but like, don't like clown me on my podcast right now. It's my episode. Anyways, next <laughs> question. <laughs> okay. okay. So we can get into some mixed up, you know, relationship questions and then just boy point of view questions. Mm. So um, Derek, relationship point of view, right? You guys have been together for five years. Yeah, we have. What are your thoughts if... Within this five years, you find out the first year, Kara cheated on you. Is that a (laughs) no-go? Is it too far gone to forgive? What are your thoughts on that? My thoughts? I would end it right now. Mm. If you found out I cheated on you on our first year? I would cut it. Mm -hmm. Why? Ouch. Because I feel like it's been too long after the first year. I feel like after maybe the second year, it'd be fine. But after the fifth year and you still haven't told me, I cut it. Mm. And I killed whiskey. <gasps> Don't say that. Yep. Don't say that. Yep. I love whiskey. That's that's That takes it too far. <laughs> you love whiskey. <laughs> nope. Not anymore after that. <laughs> you know, because if we break up, I take whiskey, he takes Merlot. It's a perfect even trade, clean break. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's interesting. I mean, I haven't. But I guess I feel the same. I feel if you cheated on me like year one. I thought this was, was Can I not give my opinions? I, was just, I, was just I mean, if you want to just compl- I'll sit here silently. That's totally fine. <laughs> if you want me to. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, next question, Derek. Point of view. So what what do you think would be the most and like for your perspective, what would be hurtful most? Emotional cheating or physical cheating? What would be? <laughs> what are your thoughts on that? I thought this was a light episode, but I guess not. Anyways, um, what's your point? It's perspectives of what people think. The most hurtful thing. Yeah, I guess what, Mo- would, what would impact more? you emotional more? Or emotional physical? cheating or physical cheating? Um, I'd probably say emotional. Yeah, for sure. Emotional is probably the worst. Yeah, I, yeah, same here. My episode. And um, I think my point of view is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, emotional. I think physical is just kind of you get over it and you move on. But emotional, I think, cuts a little deep. Mm-hmm. So that's my point of view. Okay, Thank yeah. Thank you. That's a, good, that's a good point of view. What was your point of view? I'll let you uh, talk. Thank you. I feel emotional as well because, like, you know, <laughs> physical, like I said, a, a kiss, like kind of like, you know, 
I can't stomach it. But like emotional, like I said, like you gave him your heart. Like you gave him that part of you. Like that's what I feel is more. Physical more is like a kiss. It's like having sex. Like, yeah, even then, like it'll hurt. But it's like you don't like, you know, when you say, like, oh, I don't care about anything. It's like whatever. But when you like start to ki- like that part of you goes with them mm-hmm. and that just hurts more because it's like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you give them your soul and that's not OK. Mm-hmm. It just depends on how, what you feel physical is to you mm-hmm. yeah if you're more prioritized on physical touch mm-hmm. guess i hurt a little bit more but i don't know okay yeah good qu- good 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 uh point of view there so here <laughs> question uh boy's point of view and just eric's point of view <sighs> relationships right they they're a thing but they're let's a thing say, let's say you have a friend that's a female i've known her for a long time uh, best <laughs> friend you cut her off rela- or relationship or are you okay to have girlfriends? Like, what's the the line there? <laughs> um, answer thoughts? correctly. <laughs> answer correctly. I feel like girls and boys have different perspectives on this. But he knows. Yeah. Answer correctly, D Rock. <laughs> I guess you would have to cut it off. Yep. Okay, so what were your thoughts on that? Let's first start. <laughs> okay, so Derek, <laughs> what are your thoughts on? friendships before relationships example if you had a friend of a girl that was a really good friend of yours is she cut off completely oh oh that's right um no yeah you would cut it off i don't think you would do it if you didn't do it intentionally i guess right away it would naturally just kind of fall off i think if the relationship was more i guess what's the word important Mm -hmm. matters Mm mm-hmm you just slowly start hanging out with that m- person more, mm-hmm. the one that you're dating more than your friend, and it slowly just breaks itself off. Okay, so is there no so laws of girls, friends of the other gender is done? No, there's no laws or anything. I don't think. I think anybody can be friends with anybody. But how close the relationship would be depends on the relationship that you're already in, I guess, or mm-hmm. the one that you get. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so like I guess it depends on how comfortable your partner is, you know. Mm-hmm. It's like if you're not comfortable with it, then you know, respect it, respect it. Yeah, and I feel like your friend would understand. And yeah. if they don't want to do that, then that's on them. Yeah. So Derek, insecurity <laughs> is it <laughs> is it something that's okay to accept, or it's like grow up? What are your thoughts on insecurities? <laughs> <laughs> and what I mean by insecurities, <laughs> I'm not meaning like, like uh, what I mean yeah. insecure is like when, who is are you okay texting? What's that girl's name? Who are you talking to? Or like to? trust issues and stuff. Yeah, it's a form of insecurity. Yeah. yeah. Thoughts. Is it okay to have it? Is that what the question? Yeah. Is? Like, what are your thoughts on it? Is it? Okay, are you accepting of it? Do you hate it? Would you fix it? Like, is it a no? I mean, I mean guess I'm accepting of it because usually it's based on a person's past or whatever the person's been through. Hmm. Um, I guess it's a bit ignorant to think that you can't accept it, but I guess everybody has their own thoughts and whatnot. So, no, yeah, I accept it. It's fine <laughs> if you have insecurities. Yeah, that's what it is. But if when it becomes a little too much in the relationship, I guess that's when you you talk about it. First. Yeah, communicate. Communicate first if if it's all right. But then you know. If they don't see it the way you see it, then I guess you break it off and on to the next one. Mm. On to the next one, he said. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, Derek used to be a fuckboy. This mm. nice guy used to be a fuckboy. Uh, I don't know about that. I just said I, I end up at places and things happen mm-hmm. and that's it. Mm-hmm. I don't lead. I don't look for it. It just happens. There's a few situations so. we can talk about. there's a few situations we can bring up we won't thought this was my episode i'm just saying it is your episode that's why i'm talking about (laughs) your past (laughs) but you know i think that's good insecure i feel it's important for your partner to communicate with them and you know voice that insecurity on both parties and your partner to help you get through them but also you can only help someone so much too Mm -hmm. you know Yeah, yeah 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 Yeah. So feeding back off that question, um, what are your thoughts on? Um, <laughs> it's like we're on a panel. Yeah. Well, it's like it's a it's a couple's question, but it's 
lock your turds there. I mean, obviously you're going to do, but like passwords, right? Do they have to know your password to everything? Is there any line of like, hey, like this is kind of my This is thing? my privacy. Yeah. I mean, or I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just it? saying because like we're, we're different. I, we know each other's passwords. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of people, they're like, oh, he can never have my purse. I need some kind of some kind of privacy i'm like doesn't mean he goes through my stuff but he has my stuff Mm -hmm. like my password yeah you know what i mean like do i go through like i have it but i feel like you know everyone's like that's the part you've gone through my stuff a couple times oh for sure i have before you've never have i said who hasn't yeah who hasn't gone through their partner's stuff you know i haven't whatever you've definitely gone through my stuff Mm-mm. yes you have i've i've seen you <laughs> no. i've seen you go through my phone before Mm-mm. are you gonna sit here and lie on this I national this podcast i'm just uh, it is <laughs> good, uh, this is a national ranked podcast okay i don't know if you knew that but we're kind of famous um is that what you're gonna lie and say you've never gone through my stuff not maybe not intentionally but you've came across oh yeah i've definitely looked at your phone but I don't think <laughs> I've necessarily gone through it. Oh, I'm just saying I've definitely gone through yours. I may have been looking for something in the phone, but I wasn't looking through your phone. It's two different things. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying um, I don't think it's wrong to have your partner's passwords and stuff. Like, I have nothing to hide. No, I don't think it's a problem either. You know? I mean, it just depends on the person. Sometimes your phone's closer. I need to look up something really quick. I don't know. Is it an issue to put your phone up or down? I mean, I feel like I don't know. I know I don't. I don't have anything to hide. So I don't know. I, I, sometimes it's down. Sometimes it's up. I mean, no. Is it an issue if like somebody were to put their phone down? Well, the thing is, I'm nosy, up. so I'm gonna notice things. At least for me, per se, because like. I'm nosy. That's why it's really kind of hard to surprise me. But sometimes. if you're on a date with somebody and they kept putting But that's you're on down. a date. Like we're not dating. You're on a date. Well, I didn't say it was well you can't go on a date if you're dating. No, I'm just saying like if we're on a date and you put your phone down, like we're not official, yeah, so I like can't if say I was any- getting messages and my phone was just constantly being But we're together right now. Yes, like you're dating. You're on a date. I'm not I'm gonna be like who's blowing you up? I'm gonna ask you. And then I feel like you should and tell then I'll me. Be like, oh, it's my buddy. And then I. And then I say, who's your buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, why are you trying to be so discreet? Like, tell me. I'm just saying. I'm just saying too. No, I think it's fine. Okay. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> um. So, point of view, talking stage. Um. Are you s- taken? Or are you still single during that st- during that time? Oh, tell him because you got mad at me once during our talking stage. Wait, what? So when you're at Talk talking stage, it. are you cut off our, all your other side pieces and only doing this person? Or it's like we're still single until you put a name on it. Oh, yeah. What no, are your you're still single until you put a name on it. Mm. Yeah. If you're talking, you're talking. That's all it is. Yeah. For yeah. sure. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Until you have that conversation and you're like, I don't want to talk to anybody else. Yeah. Until that com- conversation comes up, then no, it's uh, open range mm. or free yeah. range. I guess. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, I agree with that. One. Good. Um, so let's say you guys are five years in, right? Mm-hmm. Um, we are five years in. Thoughts, Derek, point of view. Uh, <laughs> taking breaks. What do you think about breaks? Do you think they're a necessary relationship? Is breaks a breakup? What are your thoughts on that? No, breaks a breakup. I don't believe in breaks. Mm. I think. Me too. I don't believe in them either. When There's no, like, break. When you're done, you're done, pretty much. There's no break. Mm. I mean, there's time away from each other. That's not a break. That's time away from each other. If you need to put a label on it, then it's you're broken up. You're mm-hmm. looking for an excuse mm-hmm. to do whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. I, I I I agree. I thought these questions were gonna be like favorite food. I mean, I thought color. so too. I mean, they are, but I mean, that's. I mean, we can get into those if no, you would no, like to totally get into fine. those. I was just expecting those kind of questions. These are like. Well, they're like point of view questions and your thoughts on it, relationships. And what's that one lady off of ABC, off of 2020? A white lady. Oh, Diane her. Sawyer? Diane Sawyer. These yeah. are like these questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I mean, we could ask a favorite color, but I feel like that's like, like a given one. You know what I mean? Like, what's well, my I favorite mean, color? We'll get there. What's my favorite color? Yellow. Good job. Okay. Kay. See? I feel like I got one right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> These Would, questions have been open ended. There is no <laughs> right or wrong. Yeah, there. Well, there's no right or wrong. There questions. is a right. There's there's the right answer that you're gonna be saying. I don't know. <laughs> For our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> so Derek, um, I guess Derek and Kara, if you want to be more uh, exclusive. Um, I this was my episode. What do you guys like? I guess tox toxicity 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 toxicity. toxicity. Yeah. What what's the I guess where is the cutoff to that? What's your jaw of the line? What's your limit to your like? Okay, I have to think of myself. Of toxicity. Yeah. Like limit. Like what do you mean? Like like you're so like toxic like boyfriend, toxic ex girl, like girlfriend. Like you love them a lot, but what's what's your cutoff? What are, you, what are your thoughts? Do you stick all the way through? Do you mm, think of yourself no. first? No, no, I wouldn't put it through. Mm. I would first communicate about it, saying, "Hey." You're, mm. you're acting a little crazy. <laughs> yeah. You need to calm down. Yeah. Uh, and if that doesn't help and it continues, then you break it off. Mm. Yeah. Nothing's worse than a toxic relationship. Mm. Nothing's worse. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> you're still here sitting right here on this chair. So I don't know what you're talking about. Clearly you haven't reached your limit. So we're good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what's one thing you can change about Kara? Uh, one thing I could change. And then we can revert back. What's one thing you change about Derek? Your hand eye control. Hand eye coordination. You know, I'll take that. I feel <laughs> like if that's what you're gonna change about me for me to be better at video games, I will take that. <laughs> I would take that. I'm yeah, I'm terrible at video annoying. games. I'm terrible at it. It's not, you know what? I just think cause I'm just not patient. Like I, I get frustrated too quickly. And that, yeah, patience. Oh that's well, that, see, one. that's that's when I was looking for. Like, okay, maybe more patience. No, you know, more simple. <laughs> that's our that's our deal breaker. I, obviously, I'm perfect. Mm-hmm. I just need to do better at video games. Mm-hmm. You know. Yep. Thank that's you. Fine. Yeah, yeah. I l- I'll take it. I'll take mm-hmm. it. We love it. We and love yours, Kara. What's one thing you turned your back? My <laughs> episode. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. Time management. <laughs> Homie's always late. <laughs> Homie is always late. Like if I say like be here at nine forty five, he's I leaving the house at like nine forty, nine thirty. I got here at I'm not talking about today, I'm talking about ever. Like I have to tell this dude an hour further than it what I need him to be because he will always be there late. Like he'll like he works at nine. He's leaving the house at you know eight thirty. Mm-hmm. Like no, because it takes me thirty minutes to get to work. It, it, no, it takes you thirty minutes, <laughs> so you're gonna arrive ex- like no time management. Like frustrating, frustrating. That's all I'm gonna say. Frustrating. <laughs> I'll take it into consideration. I'm just. I mean, it's. I, you know, we've never like had a full like travel together. Have we been to like you know like New Orleans and stuff? But like we haven't had like we drove a, to New Orleans. Well, I know, but I'm just saying we haven't had like actual vacation where what requires you for time things. So I'm curious to see how it's going to go. Oh, like a Disney World. Like, you know, vacation. like excursions because like I'm, you know what excursions are? Like adventures. Is that what excursions are? Is that what yeah, the it's term like is? A, it's like a journey or like a yeah. adventure. Journey. You know, I never <laughs> You're just using words. I was just <laughs> using it because it's on the cruise. <laughs> <laughs> A trip. <laughs> a trip. When I go on the cruises, I have to go on your excursions. Okay, makes sense. You guys, you know, I didn't go to college. It's okay. Um, yeah, there's times. There's times and stuff. So I'm curious to see how we will do on those because you do not get on. Like, when is stuff? In, mm, well, I, I don't know. We've never done something where that requires that. What were we saying? About the excursions. Yeah. You said right now that you're claiming that. You would be on time because th- when it counts, it matters. But we've never done it, so I don't know. I want to say because it's gonna be a lot of editing in this episode. Mm-hmm. I want to say I would. I'm I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna say when it counts, like we have to be at this line or at this excursion adventure at whatever time. So I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt because we've never done it. But I'm just letting you know. Mm-hmm. We will. So. Okay. That's what I would change about you. It's time management. You do, you, homie doesn't have it. <laughs> would you be mad if I was late for your like the birth of a child? Would you be mad? Um. To be honest, I probably won't be thinking about you. Like let's say I was at work, and then well, if you're at work, it's because like, and you can't get there quick enough. 
but if it's like you're at a bar or something then i'd be kind of annoyed but if i'm in labor you should have already been in the room mm, i got stuff to do maybe well i'll have my sisters so <laughs> you were gushy there <laughs> Anyway, go ahead, Chris. <laughs> that was like a long one. I just, I just had very passionate about how homie's not on time. So, <laughs> I literally had a question in my head, and I like completely dropped it. Well, we know it wouldn't be the DS's podcast without camera malfunctions, Londo. Oh, so, I know I had a, a question. Okay, you, are you finished with the questions that people asked, or are yeah. you just going off your head? Well, yeah, I mean, there's one of them, or it's like rep- repeated questions. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, like, oh, there was one I wanted to see or say that I saw. <laughs> Um, when someone asked, like, because I put on there, like, you're not really on social media. Someone said, why you prefer not to be on social media? I don't think I said this to you by accident. Um, Because Derek's only on, like, TikTok and Twitter, I think. I try to stay off most social media just because it's very toxic. Yeah, for sure. And it doesn't make me feel happy when I look at it. Yeah. So, that's why with TikTok, I'm able to change my for you page into stuff that i enjoy Mm -hmm. and not look at the stuff that i don't enjoy yeah for sure same thing with twitter for sure but twitter's a little bit harder but twitter's toxic as hell sometimes yep yeah any other questions that's it i just wanted to ask that (laughs) okay um so derek um how long do you think people should be together before getting married i don't think there's a time limit i think you just know when you know Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and sometimes you're wrong but yeah that's okay yeah for sure i used to think when i when we first got together i was like oh, i want to be married within two years three years whatever of us being together right mm-hmm. and then as we got older um because you're because fun fact or backstory you know your his stepdad and his mom were together for six years before they even got married and i would always be like oh i'm not waiting six years even though i'm five years right now <laughs> like i'm not waiting six years that's crazy but as i got older it's like you like mature and understand like you know what I mean? Like, obviously, I do. I want to mar- <laughs> want to marry you, <laughs> but like, I know it's not right now. Like, mm-hmm. I don't think there's a time anymore. Before it was like, I need a time. I need the ring. I need this. And now it's like, I would be struggling more. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> we can do some lighthearted questions. Okay, let's um, do some lighthearted so questions. Derek, when did well? What was the act, or when did you realize you loved Kara? Yeah, when did you love me? Like, actually love, not, uh, like, infatuated. Yeah, because, again, he was obsessed. It's okay. You're still obsessed. I'm obsessed with you. I want to say I realized I loved her when I think it was New Year's, whenever we had our place, that first New Year's Mm -hmm. that we had. I think that was whenever I realized that I did. So three months after us moving in together? (laughs) Yep. Yep. That's when I first realized. I was like, yep. Beautiful. Yeah, I like this chick. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Our one and only New Year's party. <laughs> yep, I realized. <laughs> that was a fun, fun time. Bro, you care? What was what? What was that moment when you realized that you loved Derek? Um, was kidding. No, um, there was a time when we were hanging out in this cul-de-sac. Um, every night, like we would be there from like eight p.m. to like six a.m. Mm-hmm. Just chilling in this cul-de-sac, chilling, hanging out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's the moment I was like, you know, I really, well, one, I wouldn't have moved in with you without the dramatic exit that I did at my parents' house. But, like, that's when I went, like realized, like, okay, like, this is, like, a real thing. This isn't just, like, this Best Buy fling thing mm-hmm. when I moved in. And, and then when I moved in, I kind of solidified, like, yeah, this is it. Right. This is it. Right. And he would watch the Kardashians with me and commentate and that just warms my heart that you let me talk during tv shows and movies <laughs> because some people don't like that and i'm 100 percent happy that you do well that's good that's good yeah for sure always love some commentary we do we don't like it's how can you not talk during a movie you know well, some movies you don't talk well me no majority is so we do so. what is one thing so what's the one thing that you guys enjoy doing together like an activity what would you say? Go ahead. It's your episode. Don't look at me for the answer. Watch TV. Okay. Watch movies. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say like eating. Like we like to eat together. <laughs> I mean, you like eat and watch like that, that TV. That just sh- sounds unhealthy. Well, yeah, but like, you know, for sh- like we'd like like to eat 
and watch shows yeah, like yeah. be together like we're probably like disgustingly like together all the time <laughs> mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. it's probably annoying to a lot of people because some people are like how do y'all talk all day like derek and i could talk all day yeah we can like it's kind of crazy yeah. usually it's just us breathing it literally <laughs> right. like we're kind of gross but it's okay mm-hmm. so um derek if you guys are out at a bar, what would Kara order? What's yeah, what would I order? Drink? What's my current drink? Current favorite? Current favorite? Well, I mean, I've been water. ordering this. Qu- <laughs> yes, water. <laughs> I've been drink- make, like having this drink for a while. Cranberry vodka? No. No, it's <laughs> vodka soda. Yes. With? With? Lime? No. Dad, we're recording. Vodka soda with crystallite. Oh, the crystal light, yeah. That's not at a bar. You don't get that at a bar. You don't tell them, put crystal light. I brought crystal light to the bar a few times, so. But yes, vodka soda or cranberry vodka. And Derek, obviously, is a uh, whiskey Coke. Yeah. You love you whiskey. Yeah. That's why our dog Sam's whiskey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No respect. <laughs> no respect in this house. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so next question. So, Derek, what would be y'all's favorite show? Favorite show? It varies. Like, we go through spurts of different shows. Is it like a show they all watch together currently? Currently? The Boys, I guess. Yeah, The Boys. It's a show on Amazon Prime. I guess our biggest one was like Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, yeah. You're the one that, you put me on Game of Thrones. Or Big Brother. Oh, Big Brother. And American Idol. You watch the whole season. Yeah. Yeah, I put you on big br- on big game or Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Yeah, I put you on. He put me on. I put you on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was a good one. It's a great show, but. <laughs> okay, so Derek, um, what is Kiara's favorite food? Pizza. All right. Yeah. Stole it from me. Pizza. Um, pasta. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's yeah, pizza, pasta. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of if there's something else. There is. It's it's not. I guess it's food technically. It's French fries. It's fr- potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. <laughs> Anything potatoes. potatoes. Derek, name at least four sports that Kara did. Four sports. Track. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um. Volleyball. <laughs> basketball. It was basketball. That's right. Yeah, basketball. Um, that's two. Cross country, or is that track? No, it's, that's cross country. The cross country, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't even know the fourth one. I don't. It's a big one, isn't it? Yeah. Um, wait, ROTC is that <laughs> a sport? No, soccer. Oh, that's right. So <laughs> there's literally soccer all over our <laughs> room. <laughs> Never it's okay. I didn't do it for long. All my sports were really l- short lived. <laughs> Derek, what? Where was Kara born at? Oh, that make believe place. It's uh, not made believe. Yuma or something. Like yeah, that. good job. Yuma. Yuma, Arizona. Yes, <laughs> we love to love it. Love to see it. Okay, Derek. Um, name some states that Kara's lived in. Virginia. Uh huh. California. Uh huh. Washington. <laughs> no, not no. Washington. <laughs> um, Texas. Yeah. Um, that's. <laughs> I think that's it. I, There's one more. One more. I'm born there. Oh, Arizona. Duh. Yeah, come on. Washington. Derek. What name the Kardashians in order that Kara loves from least to not least? <laughs> <laughs> if you can get this one, I'll love you forever. If you can get the first three. Yeah. Who do I love? Th- okay, who are my top three Kardashians? Chloe. <laughs> the old lady. The mom. <gasps> okay, respect, respect your name. Respect the name. It's Kris Jenner. <laughs> Not Christian or the older one. That's Courtney. Not Courtney. 
the grandma oh the grandma. mj <laughs> Yes, I do love MJ, but she's in the she's top not in the three. Top three. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and end on that. You know, I'm surprised. You know what? It's a hard one, but just for future reference, it does go Kim, Kylie, and right now it's Courtney. Courtney. Yes. You don't like Courtney? We love her right now. Or at least I do. <clears throat> it's fine. She's yeah. Fine. Whatever. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and end it there. Thank, Sorry for this chaotic episode that was supposed to run smoothly, um, but it didn't because Londa decided to be a brat and my parents decided to talk all the time. So, but thank you, Derek, for coming on this episode. This was so much fun. I enjoyed it. And um, you should come on some more. We love some D-Rock moments. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank and, you for um, having me. Um, thank you for having me sit in this pink chair with the pink backdrop. It's ivory. And a pink candle. It's fantastic. I just noticed that your uh, mic says D. <laughs> <laughs> for Derek. D for Derek. That was just for you. A pink D. We love it. Um, so, doers, don't forget. Oh, thank you, Garisa, for being our person behind the scenes and helping us out. It was Love the questions. And again, this is my birthday episode, so I'm turning 28. Derek will be... Oh, thank you. You'll be turning 28 in a few days after Uh, me. Two weeks. Well, two weeks uh, after. Two days. (laughs) (laughs) Two weeks after me, you'll be turning 28. Mm -hmm. So, um... Happy early birthday. Thank you, thank and don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Again, we s- we're seeing our subscriber count go up. We love to see that. We love, you know, all your comments and questions. Don't forget to tell your friend. And um, again, happy birthday to me. And always remember to do you, sis.